Hey guys, thanks for joining us for day three of our Advent Reflections. I have a passage I was going to read before that. I kind of wanted to set it up a little bit. What we have is Zechariah, who's going to be the future uncle of Jesus, who is in the temple when this angel shows up to him and says, you are going to have a son named John. And then this is what ends up happening after that. It comes out of Luke chapter 1, verses 16 through 22. This is what he says. It says, He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is well along in years. And the angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you that this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words which will come true at their appointed time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple, for he kept making signs to them, but he remained unable to speak. So there's this moment where for 400 years, God hadn't spoke to his people through the way that he had in the past, through prophets, through these messengers. And you can imagine for 400 years how frustrated his people had become, right? Just frustrated, bitter, probably filled with doubt, going, well, maybe God really isn't who we thought he was. And so when this amazing news comes to Zechariah, you can imagine that in his heart, there just wasn't room for this good news because it was filled up with so much frustration and bitterness and doubt. And it's so easy to get to that kind of place when God doesn't show up, when we think that he should or how he should. And in those moments, for us, I think we can really understand Zechariah. It's like we become almost bottled up with all this disappointment that we feel like we are just getting over and over and over. But what we see in this story is that as one silence is broken, another one begins. And like Zechariah, he could only hear God's word if it was quiet enough to actually listen. I love uh, the Christmas season and seeing family and friends, but if we allow for like all those extra things to just fill every single moment of our lives, aren't we kind of just missing the big idea of what we are supposed to be celebrating through this season? Like, don't get me wrong, those things are amazing, but they aren't the reason for the season, right? Maybe for us in this season, one of the things that we need to make sure we're doing is making sure we have silence in our lives so that we can hear from the God of the universe. What would it look like for you to create space for silence to receive God's word this season? Let me pray for us. Father, Help us during this season to be able to slow down, to be able to just experience what you have for us, and not to pack our lives so full and so busy with all the other good things that we miss out on the great things that you have for us. Help us to just make room for silence in our lives this season. You know me pray. Amen. Thanks guys.